Up With Crim begins now. No deal. Thousands of Sacred Heart nurses voted to authorize a strike. They say they're prepared to do whatever it takes to get a fair contract. And outside, another day of very cold temperatures. I guess you could say bone chilling oh, as bone we chilling. head into mm -hmm. Halloween. We'll be talking about if we see any precipitation on the way and uh, if those kids are going to have to bundle up tomorrow night. And talking about that bone chilling weather, the temperature keeps dropping, but our heating bill keeps going up. How you can stay warm without overspending. That's a, that's a, we all want to save some money, right? Okay, look, here's a tweet <laughs> I put out yesterday. We have all been experiencing crazy cold temperatures, and yesterday I tweeted out this gif of my dog, Baxter. Well, Wait, that's a dog actually that a dog? <laughs> it oh. looks like Baxter, oh but gosh. it's not. <laughs> I have a beagle. Uh, anyways, he's uh, he's probably feeling that like that gif, though. Just too cold. Didn't want to be outside yesterday for his morning walk. And it's uh, what most of us have been feeling. So if you have yeah. any reactions to this weather, you want to express them to <laughs> us, we <laughs> always want to see them here on yes. Up With Krem. Just tag us on the Up With Krem Facebook page or on Twitter or on social media, yeah. whatever. But yeah, just too cold, Evan. Are you getting a lot of complaints in the complaint department? Well, I always feel bad for you. I, <laughs> yeah, Inarani at Krem.com. Yeah, That's right. always what we say. Send them my way. Yeah. I take credit for the good and the bad, yeah, I there guess. You go. uh, no, I mean, hey, I'm just the messenger. I try right. my best, sure. but... Um, it looks like Mother Nature hasn't been treating us yeah. too well for We don't just blame you, to be fair. <laughs> to yeah. be real. All right, let's uh, take a look outside. Here's how we start the day. It is uh, going to be dark outside for another two hours. We don't have the sun coming up until about 7.30. And uh, outside, air temperature, very cold once again. We are seeing a couple single digits on here. In fact, nine degrees in Deer Park, four degrees right now in St. Mary's. That's right. It is literally four degrees in St. Mary's. Let's throw in wind chill. We're talking 14 degrees in Coeur d'Alene, 7 in Ritzville, Moses Lake, 5 degrees, OMAC 19 degrees, Pomeroy 22. No spot on the map here is above freezing. In fact, no spot on the map is even above about 22 degrees. It looks to be the highest on there. So we are cold, mainly in the teens and a couple single digits on there. On the three-day forecast, we're at least moving towards a warming trend, but your Halloween itself is kind of right in the middle of that. So that means that as you head out the door for trick-or-treating, those temperatures are still going to be in the 30s and moving down toward the 20s overnight. Uh, looks like we'll see some relief headed into the weekend, maybe upper 40s on the way for Saturday and Sunday, and we stay dry all the way into the weekend, but uh, we so far have been struggling through a very cold October with four days of snow so far in the month. Uh, looks like uh, it's been rough to us. So uh, enjoy Halloween while you can, while it stays dry. And we'll talk about some uh, possible snow on the way for next week coming up, Tim. All right, Evan, thank you. Well, it's hard to believe, but election day is less than one week away. Ballots are due next Tuesday. And of course, the political ads are unavoidable right now. Krem 2's Casey Decker turns his attention to the candidates for city council president and how truthful their ads are. Cindy Wendell and Brianne Beggs are both running plenty of spots, both on TV and online. This ad here from Wendell has drawn a lot of attention lately. I love Spokane. It's where I've raised my family and run our business. But lately, I don't recognize it. All right, this right here is where that attention is coming from. This video of a homeless camp used as evidence of Spokane's homeless problem isn't in Spokane at all. It's Baltimore. The video was stock footage from a Maryland based company shot near the Orioles Camden Yards. Wendell's explanation, she didn't want to risk the safety of her film crew by going to a real Spokane homeless camp. She says using the stock footage is still reflective of the issues we're facing here. OK, let's keep watching. Crime and open drug use take more of our city and our citizens every day. All right, the number on the screen right here, drug related crimes up 33%. Well, where does that come from? Well, it comes from a news report earlier this month, and that station has said the number was used out of context here. Specifically, it only applies to downtown, not citywide. Also, it wasn't an actual reported statistic. It was a projection from the downtown sergeant based on the number of arrests his officers had made so far this year compared to last. Wendell says the number is still reflective of the experience Spokaneites have downtown. But whether crime is up or down basically comes down to what stats you use. Are you looking at specific neighborhoods or citywide? All crime or specific types? And are you looking at reports or arrests? All of those variables mean you can sort of make the stats say whatever you want. That pertains to, to this ad from Brianne Beggs. Spokane is safer. 
We've reduced crime by over 15% this year. That number is easier to pin down. It's the citywide data from the latest CompStat report. Specifically, that report says overall crime is down 16.55% compared to this time last year. But again, crime stats never as straightforward as we'd like them to be. There's just so many variables. By hiring more police and pairing them with social workers. These claims both easily verified. Beggs was a backer of the levy that raised property taxes to pay for more police. And the last two city budgets have included money for 10 new hires each year. But it is worth mentioning, although the council has been providing more money, that doesn't necessarily mean more cops on the streets. That's because officers might leave the department faster than new ones can be hired. Now, when it comes to social workers, there's been a well-documented program to get them in patrol cars, specifically mental health clinicians. Now, to be clear, right now there are only a handful that rotate with various officers. It's not like every cop has a social worker with them at all times. Casey Decker, Crem 2 News. Well, the dispute continues. There was no agreement met between nurses, workers, and Providence Sacred Heart last night. Nearly 2,000 Sacred Heart nurses voted to authorize a strike, and today, strike authorization voting will continue at Cadillac Medical Center. A spokesperson from WSNA says the nurses are continuing to prepare the strike, to strike rather. Yesterday was the fourth mediation session with the hospital. A judge found a man who escaped from a Western Washington mental hospital guilty of murder. Anthony Garver escaped from Western State Hospital in 2016 and then was later captured in Spokane. Garver was charged in 2013 with the murder of a 20-year-old Lake Stevens woman. Soon after, he was committed to Western State uh, because he was found to be too mentally ill to face charges. He will be sentenced on November 6th in Snohomish County. Spokane City Council is spending $75,000 in emergency funds to renovate the Cannon Street Warming Center. Those improvements include adding in four bathrooms and two showers. The money will also pay for ADA accessibility upgrades, as well as plumbing and electrical problems. This warming center is operated by Jules Helping Hands. Leaders with that organization hope to have the center partially open this weekend. When fully operational, the center will be able to serve 120 people. Okay, so we all want to save money, right? With temperatures quickly dropping, your utility bill prices can quickly rise too. Avista says heating makes up 60% of your monthly energy costs. It's recommended to keep your thermostat at 68 degrees when you're not home. Avista also suggests to check for any spots where a draft may be coming in. Adding a door sweep and other weather stripping is a simple and inexpensive way to cut down on drafts. Some good advice there. Okay, so that's your Morning Rush. More news in less time. Let us know what's happening in your neighborhood by using the hashtag UpWithCrab. Well, it's time for your Speed Feed stories you'll see on social media this morning. Vanessa Hudgens will be a triple threat in the upcoming Princess Switch sequel. The sequel will feature a third lookalike introduced to create trouble for Hudgens' existing characters in the movie. In the sequel, Duchess Margaret unexpectedly inherits the throne and hits a rough patch when Kevin, um, and it's up to Stacy to save the day. So that new character is a foil to the other new characters. Basically, we have a lot of Vanessa Hudgens in this new movie. It's expected to be out next Flix next year. <laughs> Perfect. One Chicago's couple's destination wedding to Sonoma is going viral this morning. Instead of canceling the ceremony, this photo shows the Kincaid fire burning just miles away in the background. The couple and guests actually had to evacuate the morning of the wedding. The bride shared this photo captures both joy and sorrow, braving the elements for her special day. And one of the first songs children learn, well, the ABCs got a remix and people are not here for it. Let's take a listen to the most notable change. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V. All right, well, according to w Noah on Twitter, they changed the ABC song to clarify the LMNOP part, and it's ruining his life. <laughs> well, comedian Will Pressey tweeted, hopefully they're just kidding, JK. 
Um, well, <laughs> apparently this children's English teaching website debuted the updated version of the song back in 2012, but Twitter erupted after an angry user tweeted this video making it viral now with 9 million views. Oh my goodness. See, we saw this online and we were like, this is hmm. a 2012 right. kind of one person who made the video, but it's just now that it's getting all the attention. So, yeah, yeah we want to know, are people actually using this? L-M-N-O-P. I'd like to report a crime, <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> but you know, a point though, yeah, it's in 2012, but kids were on YouTube just watching videos all day. So, you know, mm. there could be a whole generation. I hope <laughs> that. No, I don't we hope no not peace. either. All right. I don't think kids are watching the ABCs on YouTube. Right. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? But hey. <laughs> okay, it's just about 542 this morning on Up With Krem. Well, still ahead. A couple was kicked out of a Sherry's while wearing Native American costumes. Coming up at 6, the restaurant explains why the customers were asked to leave. And outside, it is cold and skies are clear. We're talking about what to expect headed into Halloween. Coming up. And congratulations to Margie Peterson. You just won two Up With Krem coffee mugs, coffee beans, and a gift card to Thomas Hammer Coffee Roasters. Now, if you'd like to enter to win, to subscribe um, to our Creme 2 newsletter or enter on our Up With Creme Facebook page.